World War III has been sold to a new development studio and they're asking for feedback so they can figure out where their priorities should lie. And if you fill out the feedback form, you get yourself a nice little M416 skin. I'm not here for skins. I'm here to tell you why World War III failed and why I think you could turn it around if you actually give a shit. Now, if you're unfamiliar with World War III, this is a game that was initially developed by the Farm 51 as an alternative to Battlefield. When the trailers came out in 2018, a lot of people were excited because it looked like an indie equivalent to Battlefield that people could sink their teeth into. And when it initially released, the game had so many server issues and instability and lag and desync that it was almost unplayable for a lot of people. I actually enjoyed the game for what it was, it had a good foundation and I thought with the right development cycle, this game actually had a lot of potential and through the years, we saw that potential get completely squandered. Fast forward to right now, the game is free to play and you can jump in and you can play it, although I don't really recommend it. World War III has a lot of cool things going for it. A, I think the visuals of the game actually look pretty good for an indie FPS. The customization in this game is some of the best in the industry. You you can customize a whole bunch of shit on your character, all of your weapons, every single part of your weapon, the skins. There's a lot of cosmetics and a lot of stuff to work towards and unlock in this title. And I actually think that AAA Studios should be looking at World War III as the golden standard for customization in this market. But when it comes to the actual game and the gameplay itself, this is where this game falls short for pretty much everybody who touches it. And it's the reason why this game can't seem to get over 500 people playing at one time. The game is fucking dead. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, Farm 51 is no longer the developer on this project. Back in December, they announced that they have sold the IP to Wishlist Games. And if you guys don't know who they are, their most notable release was Armored Warfare, which is a tank combat game that has less people playing than World War III does. So it doesn't really inspire a lot of confidence in me, but they're asking for feedback in terms of where they should start to focus. And they really want to go in with a community mindset in mind. Now, I haven't played World War III in a long time. I just recently installed it because I wanted to make this video, but I was one of the biggest support for World War III in its initial stages of development with Farm 51. And through the years, I realized that Farm 51's priorities were completely different than the communities, or, or, or at least in terms of the feedback that they were getting, it didn't seem like they gave too much of a shit. And don't get me wrong, I love the guys at Farm 51, so I don't want this to come off as like a fuck Farm 51. I just think that there's a lot of core issues with the title that leads to people not wanting to play the game. Let's talk about the issues, and maybe if we Wishlist Games has the know-how and the drive and the passion to actually turn this into something. This is the video that you guys need to watch. I don't care about filling out forms. Here's the video. First and foremost, get rid of your launcher. Nobody wants to use this stupid thing. This was the dumbest decision that Farm 51, when they were partnered with My Games, who was their publisher, they wanted to do this separate launcher. So you have to download the game on Steam and then you have to install it from a launcher. Nobody wants this. Their inventory system in terms of stuff that you get for like Twitch drops and stuff, you have to go to their website, log in, look at your inventory, transfer from that inventory into the game inventory. It's so convoluted and stupid. Nobody wants it. Now that my games is out of here, Farm 51's out of here, wishlist games, listen up. Get rid of it. Now, I've been playing the game for the past couple of days, and one thing that I'm really noticing, let's talk about the player controller first. Because I remember playing the game back in 2018 and 2019, and back then, I think it felt actually better to play than it does at the current moment. What I'm noticing is none of your guns have any identity. I was playing a round of Tactical Ops, which is your 20 on 20 battlefield style mode. And I was on a life where I was picking up multiple weapons, running out of ammo, picking up another gun, and all of them felt identical. And that's when I realized the gunplay in this game is fucking trash. Your weapons have no weight and feel to them. When you're when you're swinging around, there there is no animation sway. It just feels like an 
old shooter dated back in like 2013, 2014. We need to have updated weapon feel. There needs to be weight to all of these weapons. The more attachments you put on, maybe it sways a little bit more. There needs to be a complete overhaul of your gunplay. I think the audio of these weapons are also some of the worst in the industry still to this day. They have like a high treble ting on them that pierces your ears when you're shooting them and they the, the weapons don't sound beefy they don't sound intimidating when you pick up a gun in a game like warzone and it has a chung 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 and it's chugging you can feel it and it's like oh this thing sounds strong none of the weapons in this game feel like that so you need to do an audio pass on all of your weapons i also think the player controller even though it has been improved in some aspects also needs a lot of work for whatever reason from the last time i played until now it feels like the game has gotten a lot more floaty and your player is moving faster than it ever has granted it's still kind of a slower paced game i just feel like you're kind of in this middle ground where you move really quick but then you have these really tactical movements where you can lean around corners and take things slow but the player just feels floaty you need to start getting weight not only to the weapons but to your player as well you're wearing all of this gear and you're running around like this is fucking battle bit or battlefield when world war 3 was initially like shown off this was supposed to be a really grounded version of a battlefield style game and it doesn't feel like that this feels like it doesn't really have an identity when i play battle bit i'm running around and it feels good because it's an arcade shooter like a battlefield game this game from everything we know is supposed to be way more grounded and realistic i'm not looking for a mill sim but i feel like you guys are missing the mark in the pacing of this game and that brings me to my number one complaint about the game itself let's talk about tactical ops tactical ops is their premier battlefield style mode it's 20 players on 20 players and you're in there for 30 minutes capturing points you have three points that are broken into two separate points and if you capture like b1 and b2 it creates a link between them and then you start earning points the capturing of these points take forever you cannot do this if you're a solo player which is a good thing. They want this game to be team oriented and you're working with your squad to capture these points. And that's great. The pacing of this mode gets completely thrown off when you don't have the baseline battlefield feature of reviving teammates. So the problem is, is if you're in a four man squad and you're capturing a point, two of your guys go down, there is no getting them back up. They have to pull back to the spectator screen. They have to wait for a deploy. And if there's enemies nearby their teammates, they can't deploy. So they have to deploy at another spot and then run over. It is the slowest slog, boring ass fucking game mode that I think I've ever played in any of these like battlefield style games. It needs a complete overhaul. You need to get the ability to revive and pick up teammates in the game or you make the capture points a lot quicker to grab which starts to increase the pace a little bit we don't want it to be arcadey like battlefield but right now with how the game plays it is one of the most boring games on steam and i've been saying this for years that their premier tactical ops mode is kind of shit and it's not fun playing in a match for 30 minutes running around sitting on a point okay yeah okay the enemy's got a let's run over to a <sighs> sit there for a while okay yeah all right we're fighting over here and the the, the the game's just boring there hasn't been a moment in world war three in probably the last three years where i've been like oh fuck like when you play battlefield or when you're playing battle bit and you're in the shit those games feel great world war three misses the mark completely so i think if you guys are going to be overhauling and focusing on priorities you need to take an honest look at how the game plays in its current state and realize that you are not holding players. You can't get people to come in and enjoy themselves in this title. And the reason for that is because your game modes suck ass. The visual effects on things like rockets and grenades going off, everything is just really lackluster when you're in the game itself. Blowing up a vehicle doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel like it does in games like Battle Bit and Battlefield. 
throwing a grenade and watching it kind of just poof out. It, like, there's no effect. There's no, like, bassy sound to it. Everything just feels surface level kind of garbage. So if Wishlist Games is asking people where your priorities stand, A, you need to get the servers and the stability of this game up and running to a point where people can actually play without lagging, desyncing, and all of that stuff. Take all of that out of the equation, and the core design of this game itself is flawed from the jump. You need to overhaul impact and like explosive effects. You need to overhaul the audio. You need to overhaul the weapons, which I I'll say, depending on how they've coded and programmed this game might actually be a challenge. Nothing about the moment to moment gameplay is done better in World War III than any other title. I can look at Call of Duty and say their weapons feel better. I can look at Battlefield and say that Battlefield feel and the Battlefield moments feel better. Exploding vehicles, throwing grenades, the, the actual explosions and the impact and the sounds of the weapons feel better in Battlefield. I think the pacing is better in a game like Battlebit. Nothing you guys do outside of your customization is better than anybody else. And the problem is, is you can customize weapons all you want when you jump into a game and it plays like dog shit, that's what you get. I also think you need to take a hard look, even though I said earlier that the visuals in the game are pretty good for an indie FPS, I think you need to take a hard look at the color palette that the game had in 2018 and 2019 and get back to that. The game is called World War III. There is a global war going on. It is depressing. There is a lot of gray. There's a lot of darker environments. We have lost all of that going into this free-to-play version of the game, and I feel like that's kind of a tragedy because the game just visually looked better in the early days of early access and that's not to say you can't have like daytime environments but you need to get back to the visual quality and the standard that was in the game back in the day because i just think it looked way more unique so i, I think wishlist games asking for uh you know where their priorities need to lie you guys need to take an honest look at how the game plays and realize that it's flawed significantly so and the thing is is i think there's still a hole in the market where a game like world war 3 could slide into and actually thrive is world war 3 going to do it i highly doubt it i think a lot of people like when they hear the game world war 3 they're just like oh yeah that was supposed to be the battlefield killer that flopped multiple times that's really what it is unless some drastic overhauls happen with the game nothing is going to change and i imagine that if it keeps going on for the next couple of years this game will shut down wishlist games i wish you guys the best of luck and i really hope that you guys can take this ip and turn it around for your sake i, I don't know why you would have purchased this ip but i'm hoping you guys are willing to get your hands dirty dive into that code and start overhauling the systems that need to be overhauled. You guys need to hire an audio engineer and you need to start diving into the player controller and how these weapons actually feel. You need to start adding weight and sway to the weapons to make it feel a lot more grounded and give it a unique feel instead of having it feel like a, a really like a poor man's call of duty, which is not what the game was initially supposed to be. Are you guys still fucking with World War 3? Let me know in the comments down below. I highly doubted at this point but i will say it is weird i do get requests to talk about world war 3 probably on a weekly basis still to this day the game is completely dead outside of a few hundred people that log in and play every single day and that's pretty much where this game is destined to lie until some drastic things happen will they happen i don't know but i saw the opportunity to give feedback to a new studio coming in who might not understand the actual frustrations of the player base that backed this game back in 2018 and i thought it was a good opportunity to put in my two cents leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed it subscribe for more just like this my name is big Fry. I'll see you on the next one.